error establishing a database connection. This error can be pretty annoying and frustrating and comes up fairly frequently from time to time. When it comes up, you can't get into the front of your website or into the admin area generally. So what is happening here? What's happening is WordPress is not able to use the database. One of the most common problems is the login information for the database is incorrect. So just like how you log into WordPress with a username and password, the WordPress files actually log into the database with a special database username and password. If any of that's incorrect, you'll see the error um, like the one you were seeing there. You have to have access to your hosting control panel in order to solve this. So let's walk through how to fix that. So here's a typical hosting control panel. It may look a little different depending on your hosting provider, but generally the same options exist across almost all hosts. So the first thing you want to find is PHP My Admin and click on that. Then in the left hand column you're going to see the name of your database. You're going to want to make note of this, write it down, so in a little while when we check the settings in WordPress we can compare it to make sure that it's correct. So make note of that and then click on the name of the database there. Now that's going to expand open the tree view here and show you all of the tables that are in the database. If this is empty you know you've got a bit of a problem that means the tables are missing for some reason. Also over on the right you'll want to take a look at um, the columns there in the main area and see if you see anything that's like locked, error, or anything else that looks out of the ordinary. In that situation you're going to want to repair your database and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. If your tables are completely missing really your only option is to do a restore from a backup. So in our example here things are looking good we've got tables, there's no errors or anything so we can go close out of there and the next thing we're going to do is go to the area called MySQL Databases and click on that. And you're going to look for something that says Privileged Users. And that's going to be the username that you need for WordPress to log into the database. So make note of that. And if you're not sure what the password is for that user, you can scroll down and there'll be a link for Set Password. If you click on that, it'll give you a screen where you can change the password of the database. And then just make note of whatever you change it to, because we'll need that as well in just a moment. This screen also has the repair database option. So you just select your database from the drop down list and click the repair database button. I've never had this feature do anything to make anything worse. So you really can't harm anything by running this. And hopefully if you've got a locked issue or you've got a corrupt database, it's able to go through and repair the database for you. But don't be afraid to click it. It uh, can sometimes fix some good problems. Then you can go ahead and click up in the top left and click Home. And now we're going to go into the File Manager to compare the settings in WordPress to what the things that we've just noted. So click File Manager then find wp-config.php. Click on that so it's highlighted in blue and then click edit up at the top. You can also do this through FTP if you're more comfortable with FTP. And here we now are displayed that file in a web browser where we can actually edit it and make changes. So we're going to look for the area that's talking about uh, database connection information or database settings. You'll see DB name, DB user, DB password, DB host. These are the main fields or main settings that we're going to configure. So we're going to compare these to the ones we've just noted. You know, database name, database username, database password, and no, this isn't really my uh, database username and password. Make sure that those are correct, fill them in. And then DB host, this is telling WordPress what server that the database lives on. For most hosting providers, that's going to be localhost, like displayed here. However, if localhost doesn't seem to be working, contact your hosting provider and they should be t able to tell you uh, what that setting should be. But for the most part, it's localhost. 
So once we have those settings updated to match what we've made note of, we can go to the top right and click Save. And now, hopefully, our site comes up. And you no longer have the error. If you still are seeing the error, then that means there's another problem. There's a problem at your hosting provider, potentially. Maybe the database software is not working properly on the server. Maybe the database is corrupt and the repair couldn't solve it. Um, if it's corrupt, restoring is probably the only uh, way to fix that. Um, but if there's a problem at your hosting provider, you're going to have to reach out to them and uh, see what they have going on and see what solutions they can offer for you.